Good morning. Welcome to St. Francis Episcopal Church for Morning Prayer, Thursday, July 22nd, the commemoration of Mary Magdalene, Apostle to the Apostles. Those who want to save their lives, have good health insurance, pay their bills on time, exercise, and eat right. Those who want to save their lives will lose them. Those who lose their lives in pursuit of God, who abandon the world's values, who live generously and faithfully, who listen to a voice beyond. Those who lose their lives in pursuit of God will find life. May we learn the value of loss. May we know the value of life. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. As the deer longs for the water brooks, so longs my soul for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, a thirst for the living God. When shall I come to appear before the presence of God? My tears have been my food day and night, while all day long they say to me, Where now is your God? I pour out my soul when I think on these things, how I went with the multitude and led them into the house of God. With the voice of praise and thanksgiving among those who keep holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul, and why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give thanks to him who is the help of my countenance and my God. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Judith. Judith prostrated herself, put ashes on her head, and uncovered the sackcloth she was wearing. At the very time when the evening incense was being offered in the house of God in Jerusalem, Judith cried out to the Lord with a loud voice and said, Your strength does not depend on numbers, nor your might on the powerful, but you are the God of the lowly, helper of the oppressed, upholder of the weak, protector of the forsaken, Savior of those without hope. Please, please, God my Father, God of the heritage of Israel, Lord of heaven and earth, creator of the waters, King of all your creation, hear my prayer. Make my deceitful words bring wound and bruise on those who have planned cruel things against your covenant and against your sacred house and against Mount Zion and against the house of your children possess. Let your whole nation and every tribe know and understand that you are God, the God of all power and might, and that there is no one who protects the people of Israel but you alone. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here, Here comes with, with power the Lord God, God who rules, rules by his strong arm. Here, Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd he feeds his flock, in his arms he gathers the lambs carrying them in his bosom, and leading the ewes with care. Who has cupped in his hands the water of the sea, and marked off the heavens with a span? Who has held in a measure the dust of the earth, weighed the mountains in scales, and the hills in a balance? Who has directed the Spirit of the Lord, or has instructed him as his counselor? Whom did he consult to gain knowledge? Who taught him the path of judgment? or showed him the way of understanding. Behold, the nations count as a drop of the bucket, as dust on the scales. The coastlands weigh no more than powder. Lebanon would not suffice for fuel, nor its animals be enough for holocausts. Before him all the nations are as naught, as nothing and void he accounts them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of John. Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white, sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. 
They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned to him and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Happy Happy those those who meditate on wisdom and and fix their their gaze on knowledge. She will feed him with the bread of learning and give give him the water of understanding to drink. He He will will lean upon her and not fall. He He will trust in her and not be put to shame. She will exalt him above his neighbors, and in the assembly she will make him eloquent. Joy and gladness he will find, and an everlasting name he will inherit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Almighty God, whose blessed Son restored Mary Magdalene to health of body and mind, and called her to be a witness of his resurrection, mercifully grant that by your grace we may be healed of all our infirmities and know you in the power of his unending life, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray for the poor, hungry, and neglected all over the world, that their cries for daily bread may inspire works of compassion and mercy among those to whom much has been given. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for schools and centers of learning throughout the world, for those who lack access to basic education, and for the light of knowledge to blossom and shine in the lives of all God's people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an end to the divisions and inequalities that scar God's creation, particularly the barriers to freedom faced by God's children throughout the world because of gender, that all who have been formed in God's image may have equality in pursuit of the blessings of creation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the health of women, children, and families around the world, especially for an end to maternal and child mortality, that in building healthy families, all God's people may be empowered to strengthen their communities and repair the breaches which divide nations and peoples. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an end to pandemic disease throughout the world 
particularly the scourges of HIV, AIDS, malaria, and tuberculosis, that plagues of death may no longer fuel poverty, destabilize nations, and inhibit reconciliation and restoration throughout the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an end to the waste and desecration of God's creation, for access to the fruits of creation to be shared equally among all people, and for communities and nations to find sustenance in the fruits of the earth and the water God has given us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all nations and people who already enjoy the abundance of creation and the blessings of prosperity, that their hearts may be lifted up to the needs of the poor and afflicted, and partnerships between rich and poor for the reconciliation of the world may flourish and grow. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O God, we are one with you. You have made us one with you. You have taught us that if we are open to one another, you will dwell in us. Help us to preserve this openness and to fight for it with all our hearts. Help us to realize that there can be no understanding where there is mutual rejection. O oh God, in accepting one another wholeheartedly, fully, completely, we accept you and we thank you and we adore you and we love you with our whole being because our being is in your being and our spirit is rooted in your spirit. Fill us then with love and let us be bound together with love as we go our diverse ways, united in this one spirit which makes you present in the world and which makes you witness the ultimate reality that is love. Love has overcome. Love is victorious. Amen. Amen.